it's Mike again. I want to talk a little bit more about this latest batch of images, uh, uh, in particular this one. This one of the the two uh, entities. Some people might call Bigfoot. Now I know it's not, it's not satisfactory as far as uh, you know we want it to be perfect, more perfect, right? But we're talking about spirits. Also, remember it's 60 feet plus up in the air. I don't know how 50, probably 75 yards more filmed when I caught this and captured this. I wasn't expecting it either. So I wanted to make a couple comments about this one. In particular, this guy right here. I'm going to outline his face for you. Yeah, that did a bad job with that. That's his nose. We talk about this hooded nose type thing that people talk about. Or flattened boxer type nose. I totally screwed that up. It's actually it's more like that. We'll start with that. And then we'll start with his mouth. That people talk about. They have big mouths. I believe now. That this entity that I just filmed, this is his wrinkly forehead, his lips, of course you can see this is an eye, this is an eye, you can actually see eyelashes on it. Eyelid. This is his eyelids and his, uh, eyela our eyebrows, and that uh, protruded eyebrow type thing that people talk. His eyes. This is the part that went a certain light, it turns black. His chin. It's got the beard. There's something on top of it. I'm not sure what that is. Is that his hand or some other entity? More likely, since they're never alone, <clears throat> they're always more than one entity. It's nostril. The guy I just outlined for you is looks an awful lot like the one that I saw. That I talked about in the interview with. Uh, with Tim <laughs> the one that came down to seem to float down from the tree and attack me when we had about three days of spiritual warfare <clears throat> that same moment that really convinced me that the power and name and the blood of Jesus Christ and that there's a God the Lord of all spirits I don't know why it happened the way it happened why maybe God's intent to wake me up if that's not the one that it, that uh, I saw that I had the vision of it was more than a vision it was reality I wish we had three days of spiritual warfare and all sorts of weird things that ended with a one that was black and tall and I wonder if it's the, the guy that was black and tall is one behind that my neighbor saw I don't believe it's the same one that I saw with the Crow Indian woman, 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 medicine man, the Crow Indian medicine man that practiced dark arts. <clears throat> no. This one, just in case you're having a hard time seeing what it is, his eyebrow, his eyebrow. Let's try that again. That eyebrow was screwed up on my part. Another thing about it, this guy's eye, this eyeball is bigger than the other one. This one looks almost like it's squinting or pinting. I think it almost looks like this guy's been in a fight or two. That's his nose. 
his mouth, his chin, the forehead, of course we pretty much see that, the hairline. Now it kind of seems like there might be an entity attached to him or sometimes it, uh, they say the fur and all that can they, they just distract him. This possibly could be part of him. And I say possibly. It could be his big hand. I wonder so much if he was associated with them some way, somehow. Well, obviously associated now, but that three day, uh, uh, but that doesn't matter because there's so many other entities that I film in my neighborhood that it could be something completely, something completely different. But this first one I really wanted to share with you. Actually, that's his forehead right there, isn't it? Totally got totally screwed up. And this is big old head right there, isn't it? And uh, his neck. So this thing right here, I first pointed it out. It looks exactly like the one I saw that I claim that attacked me and my son. At least I felt he did. Certainly was scared out of my skull experiencing it and it, it, and it left a, a mark on my skull that will never go away. I have a spirit my soul, I should say. So, this guy, I feel strongly, if it isn't him, the one that I saw looked just like him. I'll take that, we'll take the lines out again. I know people say, you can't do that. It's, you know, you should be able to just see it. Well, we are, if we are, if, if, if I am right, and many others are right, we're dealing with spirits, spiritual beings, that you don't see, um... And this guy reminds me of, um, what's that one character, um, in New York City, or whatever it was, that one thing of the, of the past, I can't remember the, something in New York, I can't remember the name of it now, I stopped watching movies a long time ago, but that truly is his mouth, that truly is his nose, that's his eye, it looks like, and there seems to be a mark that runs across his, his head. That's his chin. There's the, the wrinkle of the forehead. But I, I think that a lot of people would call that a Bigfoot. Then with this guy, let me take off his lines. Oh, this is his eyes. The nose, the eyebrows, the wrinkly forehead. This seems to be something's going on here. I don't know if it's something attached to it. Like I said, a lot of these spirits they're they're uh, associated with a whole bunch of other ones. I know the one attacked me had a ton of them were associated with them. And now people. If this is, maybe this is one of God's, God's way of uh, blessing me by being honest about what I, what happened to me. Because I filmed this unintentionally, didn't see these guys with my eyes. I just took some random pictures of trees in my neighborhood across from, um, across the street from my porch. And um, there it is. I have been praying to the Lord of all spirits, God and Jehovah, Jesus Christ, that He reveal His good spirits. Is this the case? That's my prayer. That's my hope. I believe He answers prayers when you're real earnest and sincere about it. And um, wow, what an answer to prayer! I don't know what to say to you except I hope that you see what I'm saying. I think it's really important that somehow 
we need to break free from the spell of um, what's been going on with uh, the weaponization of anthropology. Anthropology, excuse me. This Bigfoot thing, and what they've been trying to push on us is what Bigfoot is, etc. I'm gonna go back to this one again. This one is like multiple heads, but it's weird because when you look at the part of the tree, some of those parts of the tree almost look like this part right here, right? I don't know, man. All I know is there's an eye right there. There's an eyebrow. There's that. Um, there's something going on right here. There's frowny something. I don't know. It's not my imagination. That's one thing I do know. What it is, 100%, I'm, I'd be awfully arrogant of me to assume that I know. 100%. Um, except that the spirits. You can't operate the way they do and be in the in flesh and blood. Now, I want to go back to this dude right here. Remember this guy? The gray guy. <clears throat> Some people would call it a Bigfoot or a booger. His forehead. I mean, his dome head. Um, the dark reset eyes. The, the heavy brow. The nose, etc. And I just want to look at this, this picture again. It's not going to be perfect in clarity. Of course. Um, but... And this this grouping, all these dark shadows here, it's turning out. It's starting to look very clear. Like this thing, it might be what this part of what people call a tribe or a a clan. I believe that these would probably be more in line with the dark heads that uh, they were popping up in the cemetery back in 2017 that I was seeing prior to. Um, Having the encounter with the Crow Indian by the name of Crow, which I'm sure he didn't give him his real name. <coughs> if he is a practitioner of dark arts, and I'm sure he would not want to be just telling too much of the truth. I meant he might have been shocked himself of what it turned out, what happened. But then again, he said he's seen many things in Montana and in Northern California. So, who knows? trustworthy character uh, I would have to, to say probably not after all the things he admitted about you know being part of a satanic ritual killing a woman and a girl a 15 year old girl <coughs> not that it's any better but so in this image I think if you look real closely there are entities going on here there's one that I find interesting and although these ones might say oh there's shadows and there's a leaf and all that this one right here, I'm not going to magnify it or anything. It clearly, is, this head is above or before the leaves. Which tells me a couple of things. It's not that big, first of all. <laughs> what if it's the same thing or not, I don't know. There are these, another entity right here. Let me reduce this a little bit. There is something, there's serious stuff going on here. This guy's not alone. And there are a lot of these dark entities. And I don't think they're as big as they appear to be. Although this head may seem like it's big and 12 feet tall. Um, yeah, there's, uh, there'll be no way of uh, standing the ground. And, I mean, then again, it could be uh, if they're spirits and people don't recognize it. Uh, there's, you know what I mean? They're in the spirit realm. Then it could be just that. It could be even bigger than that. There's a couple other entities here that are kind of half uh, uh, being seen. They got this one right, the, the rounded head. Something seems to be going on with his movement, the distortion of the eyes. I don't think that's an eyebrow, but it sure does look like one. That rounded thing is that's abnormal. That's out of place with the leaves. I don't have any neighboring uh, biological monkeys of any type. So whatever this is, it has to be spiritual. 
Um, there's some other few things that I find interesting. Uh, this one in particular, if you look at that and what's going on, it's strange. Um, not pareidolia, if far from it. Um, there's one more thing I wanted to look at before I move on from this picture. Um, yeah, there's an entity right here. There's leaves and there's kind of blocking it, but you can see there's a rounded head again. And there's something going on. Uh, it, now, uh, it, the green and how they blend in with the colors or whatever, they're surrounded. But there's some strange things going on in this picture. As far as what possibly be going on. Of course, you and I aren't allowed to speculate outside of what the experts and authorities say is truth. So you're going to have to find out the truth for yourself. And one of the things you're going to have to do is, is make a serious inquiry and in challenging all the official narratives. Because you're going to find out a lot of the official narratives are really just based on a bunch of lies. There's something going on in here. Once again. There is something. There seems to be an eye. Of something on top of that, that entity. Like there's. Uh, I don't know. A smaller entity on top of that. Of it. I admit. It's not perfect and it's blurriness. It, don't think it might be perfect. This is blurriness. But. Um. There is something going on. There is one more entity that I thought was somewhere near him. I'm going to have to figure out where I was looking at. Because I know there was a, a bit of a gem. I think it might be one of us right here. That you see here. There's something going on here. It's blurry, but there's something going on here. You can see that. It goes along with this. Now, if this is, you know, the edge of the leaves... This is probability. But what if it's not? And this is actually an entity here. And there's another entity here. And another one's here. And a lot of times they create this like chain or link or row. And there's something seriously going on here. <coughs> and. What is the one more thing that I was thinking of that could have stood out? Maybe I already looked at it. So there's a lot of things going on in that picture for certain. I guess my point, what was my point in all that? I wanted to point out that there's a lot more going on in this picture than meets the eye. Some of you just, some of it's too distorted. To, to say one way or the other. You know what I mean? <coughs> but we, I think we're with safe confidence. Of saying that is the profile of something. That would fit the, the, the mold. Is what people call a Bigfoot. Now the question is. Why did no one else see it? And why once again. Is it just the head of the upper part of these entities. And not any more than that. Something really interesting just going on in here. This this black mass moth, because there's trees and everything behind here normally. There's something going on. It could be part of what is called um, a tribe. And and I'm trying to keep this short, but it's very hard for me to keep it short. Because I'm having a lot of fun finding these things. So once again, this is the original photo that we start out with. This is the actual original photo. Now that we've done a little breaking down of it, enhancing it, which is not this is not enhanced. We can look back at this. It is clear that there is an entity right here. Its eyes, is in his mouth, and it looks just like what what scared the living daylights out of me. Uh, on the day December the 17th 
2017. Then there's this guy right here. <clears throat> Don't forget, once again, we last time that video was longer than this, there's the mysterious monkey beef Bigfoot that almost looked like they were a mask. There's something going on there. <coughs> Excuse me. And then, of course, this dude, the old man with the, with the pointed nose or hooked Roman nose. There's something going on in front of him, but for certain there is something going on here. You can see his eyes, and it's kind of a cool picture in my book. With that, you can see a little more of its a portrait. The eyes, the, no, the eyebrows, the Roman nose. Seems to me like he has a bit of a uh, an old man smile type of thing. I can see why a lot of people will call these 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 entities people, because they would remind you a lot of people, wouldn't they? <clears throat> this one, it's just bizarre. I'm telling you, it's like if we look at. My cover page. If it will open, oh, wait, that's not going to do it. I'm going to go through the same thing again. Anyways, that's basically the same tree, I think. Or it's the tree over to the left. Maybe I'm, now that I'm thinking it might not be, it might be the one that's actually eyes always looking at me. It's the one south of me. But that's the one where this one popped out. With the the long Bigfoot face, <clears throat> I say the the key of a lot of these things is that um, I mean, you're taking pictures. Uh, don't be so rigid about it, and also take the side, to the front, and uh, don't obsess about it. If you get it this time, if you don't get it this time, you might get it next time. Uh, sunlight's a real important thing. Time of day is a real important thing. And from my experience. And um, one of the things I think that's, that's even one of the most beneficial things of all of making these things manifest is call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of all spirits. Praise Him, talk about Him, and talk about Him out loud. Don't be ashamed of who He is. And these things will start manifesting. You won't have to be that great of a researcher. As I'm proving, you can do it from your front porch, your back porch, your bedroom window, and find entities. Because they're everywhere. And they're very interested about God, for some reason. More so than the average human being is, which is bizarre, because... Of the promises that God's made for man, you think men would be far more interested in God Himself, but nope, 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 nope. If you talk about God, people get all offended, which is totally. It shows you the spiritual and mental state of affairs in humanity in 2022. They have done a great job through learning against learning. Endless lying and deceptions to convince people that it's a, it's like it was like swearing. Uh, the worst of worst things is to talk about God. Yet, how God created everything. There is a creator. Now it might sound like I'm preaching to you, and I don't want you. To, I'm not asking you to join a religion. You do whatever the heck you want to do. I would not recommend strongly that you join a religion. But that you would pursue your creator instead. And you find a lot of the truth about who he is in the 66 books that we call the Bible. And you find clearly that there's no religion that's offered up 
my God, there's a pure, the purpose, the pure, the purest, if there is a religion, and that is to have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with the true living God. You are the temple. Inside you, if you allow God to be with inside you, you are heaven on earth. I not feel that way with the health issues and everything else, but the peace that comes to a man when they are connected with the Lord of all spirits is, unprof is profound and undeniable. And regardless of whatever else happens to, um, to a person, um, there's still, I mean, the, that hope and faith in God is just a profound, 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 um, source of life of course it would be he is a source of life so once again that's tying it up once again i strongly believe this dude with his nose his kind of boxer nose type thing in his face and his big mouth they always talk about and the eyes and all that and the wrinkly head and and it was very well like tannish leather i said about his face that's him if that's not him, then it's one of his brothers or sisters. Like, that's him. So I didn't see his profile. I saw his portrait. So, But if there was a way to describe what I, the entity that I saw that afternoon, that um, or evening around between 5, 5, 3rd, taking my son to the karate practice, it was something that looked just like this one in front. And as far as this guy goes... I haven't seen his face yet. But I know one thing. With a face like that. No wonder people be scared to death seeing him in person. Nothing personal dude. But you do look like you've been in a few battles. <clears throat> but then again if you're one of God's warring angels. I mean that's exactly what's happened. I surely wish I'd had the full understanding of magnitude of what we've, we are, are we have, are, of our lives and so far I've heard a lot of people I mean endless number of people people men women claim that they have all the answers or they really understand what's going on and I'm just saying I don't think you do <laughs> in fact I don't, I don't know how you could so you would be God and a lot of us want to play God, but we're not meant to be God. There's only meant to be one God. And I know we're not going to talk, we can't supposed to talk about this when it comes to the Bigfoot community. But if we really want to know the truth about Bigfoot, and the, you know, the Bigfoot community is going to have to start talking about um, this God, the Creator, the Lord of all spirits, or you're not going to get anywhere with this. And you're just going to be tossed to and fro with all these yahoos or many are, are actually paid agents of different uh, 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 see in the many times how it works they have military backgrounds intel military intel backgrounds then they end up working for little firms and then they end up working for another firm and then they're like you know how many steps removed from what the real agenda is but they're useful tools and because the money's good and because the, the attention is good and because they tell out these friendships and all that they just keep going along with it some people are just plain all evil there's some people in the beautiful community are pure 100 percent evil and many of you who are lying about what's really going on is unforgivable and causing all this confusion is 100 percent unforgivable no matter what your masters, or whatever your bosses say, or whatever your church says, it's unforgivable to be lying to people about the reality of our world. Denying everybody of the fullest access and ability and opportunity in this world. I swear to God there's something going on in front of the two. I don't know, man. It's almost like they're right here. There's like hands and hands and arms like folding over each other. And there's something like right here. Like some kind of baby or small. I don't know, man. It gets really weird. But there's lots of spirits that don't look anything like they tell us. In fact, God's creation is so much more interesting than what they tell us. 
And why is this doing what it's doing? <coughs> why is it doubling up? Okay. <coughs> 